السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سبجیکٹ کمپیوٹر سائنس اور کمپیوٹر اپلیکیشن فار لیونت اے اور لیونتھ سی سو چیپٹر فائی از آلسو اے کامن سبجیکٹ فار بوتھ لیونتھ اے لیونتھ سی اٹ مینس کمپیوٹر سائنس اینڈ کمپیوٹر اپلیکیشن ناؤ ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ نیو چیپٹر چیپٹر نمبر فائیو ورکنگ ود ونڈوز آپریٹنگ سسٹم سو وی ول ٹرائی ٹو کور دی فالوئنگ ٹاپکس اباؤٹ انٹروڈکشن ٹو او ایس introduction to windows os various versions of windows handling mouse windows desktop parts the window application window so let's start our class the first topic is introduction to operating system so last class we understand the theoretical concept of operating system so the same thing is repeated here in the introduction part where the operating system uh, uh, roles are explained in detail so of course operating system is a interface between a hardware and a user it is a it controls overall operation execution of computer uh, it manage memory it manage process it manage devices it also manage files and security so simply we can say operating is system is the only one software which can handle all the system and all the devices connect to that system and uh, operating system is the only software responsible for smooth functioning of computer so in the diagram you can see um, all softwares and all the hardware devices like cpu ram input and output devices are like softwares like system software and application software are all connected by operating system so in the same way whenever user access the computer he first access the operating system and then only he can able to give commands to hardware basically all the operations are executed by hardware but the work extracted by operating system so this is the introduction now we go for the windows operating system of course in uh, uh today we can see many operating systems are available in market one of the famous operating system is windows so windows linux unix macintosh uh these are some of the famous operating system so but uh, compared to other operating system windows is a famous operating system because of a uh, feature called gui graphical user interface the another important feature of windows is multitasking task means any action multi means more than one so i mean windows we can execute more than one operation simultaneously so we discussed this topic in last class in uh, how our uh, uh, operating system manage this multi process multitasking uh, work so and the another important feature of windows is the common operating the common input devices are keyboard and mouse where uh, which was accepted as a common input devices for most of the operating system so mouse is an important input device for windows because most of the uh, commands are executed through mouse by simply clicking on icons graphical uh, images icons are called graphical images and by using a keyboard keys like shortcut keys function keys which we already discussed in the first chapter about keyboard so now we are going to see what are the some other functions of operating system that is windows operating system so in this lesson we are going to learn windows operating system of course there are many versions but we are going to learn windows 7 as our syllabus so in windows operating system the main function of the windows operating system is access applications that is here application refers to programs on the computer like word games video player spreadsheet calculator and so on load any program on the computer manage hardware such as printer scanner mouse digital file management activities change computer settings such as color scheme screen savers of your monitor so these are the basic uh, functions of windows operating system so windows operating system so is a famous operating system which comes with the different versions it was uh, introduced in 1985 the first windows operating system the version is 1.x here x refers to sub version of 1 so in 1985 the first windows operating system introduced with the features gui where 16 bit processor are used mouse was introduced as a input device in 1985 in the first version windows 1.x in 2.x 
in 1987 uh, a 2.x version was released it suppose minimize maximize window it means we can see minimize and maximize button in window which was introduced in 1987 and control panel feature also introduced in the same year in the version 2.x next 3.x which was introduced in the 1992 where the multitasking concept was introduced it means before 1992 it may uh, 1992 we cannot uh, work with uh, more than one ap application software simultaneously so very first in 1992 windows 3.x introduced this concept that is working more than one application software simultaneously in the same time it also introduced the 256 colors uh, scheme which brought a modern and careful look to the interface the next version is window 95 so here the windows uh, version uh, starts with a new features like a start button taskbar windows explorer start menu was introduced and it also introduced 32 bit processor and focus more on multitasking so in 1995 32 bit processor support uh, micro Microsoft Windows 95 where multitaskings are executed with uh, with uh, special features next uh, in Windows 98 the other uh, features like uh, web browsers like Internet Explorer were introduced and uh, DOS gaming began to disappear as window based games improved plug and play feature was introduced so DOS gaming means DOS is a uh, product of Microsoft which was command based in a command based operating system where we want to give commands we cannot see colors we cannot see images we cannot see icons we cannot hear sound in DOS but in Windows operating system all the things are introduced that means different uh, 256 colors are introduced uh, icons are introduced with the uh, with the different versions but uh, after in 1998 the windows also introduced a game softwares in window based a uh, soft uh, window based operating system which improve which uh, which uh, which lead to the disappearance of the dos based games and ne next uh, important feature is a plug and play feature was introduced it means in windows 98 we can plug we can plug any device and work with that device without a uh, installing their drivers so drivers are the basic software required for working any device so in previous uh, world uh, window based version like 95 1.x 2x if you want to connect any new device to a computer then you want to install separately the drivers but in 1988 all the drivers maximum uh, all the drivers are pre-built in 1998 so there is no need to install the driver software for every small devices like a keyboard mouse uh, speaker a headphone so all the drivers are installed pre-installed in 1998 so we simply plug and work with that uh, devices that is the feature called plug and play feature which was first introduced in 1998 the next uh, windows is windows 98 it was introduced in 1993 which is not mentioned in our book but it designed to act as a servers in network means up to 98 version of windows based windows operating system cannot work in uh, up to 95 windows based ap uh, application system cannot work in network it means if you want to uh, connect more than one computer and use that ne network for uh, optimizing resources like hardware and software then you should use the special operating system for called windows nt for networking your computers so it was introduced in 1993 so it is a special uh, version of windows nt it have their own versions like uh, the first version of windows nt is 3.1 so next version is windows me so windows me is the continuity of windows 98 after windows 98 windows me was introduced in the year 2000 it introduced automated system diagnostic and recovery tools which was very helpful for re repairing your system if you uh, repairing your system yourself so next version is windows 2000 which was introduced in the same year 2000 serve as an operating system for business desktop and laptop systems so this windows 2000 was specially designed for laptops and uh, palm tops four versions of windows 2000 were released professional server advanced server and data center server so professional for business 
कंप्यूटर बिजनेस बिजनेस बेस्ड कंप्यूटर और डेस्कटॉप सर्वर इज वॉर वेब सर्वर और ऑफिस सर्वर एडवांस सर्वर फॉर लाइन ऑफ बिजनेस एप्लीकेशन डेटा सेंटर फॉर हाई ट्रैफिक कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क सो स्पेशलाइजेशन इन नेटवर्किंग इंट्रोड्यूस वॉज इन इंट्रोड्यूस इन दिन दर्शन Windows 2000. After 2000, Windows XP was introduced in 2001, which introduced a feature called 64-bit processor, improved Windows appearance with themes, and offered a stable version. So after Windows 98, one of the stable version of Windows uh, uh, Windows operating system is XP. So Windows Vista is introduced in 2006, update the look and feel of Windows. So after Windows uh, 6, Windows 7 was introduced in 2009, where a new feature was introduced, that is booting time was improved, introduced new user interface like Eero Pick. pinning program to taskbar handwriting recognition etc and the windows internet explorer 8 is also introduced in the windows 7 after windows 7 windows 8 was introduced in the year 2012 where, which was faster than previous versions of windows start button was removed in this version the windows 8 takes better advantage of multi core processing solid state drives touch screens and other alternate input methods so basically up to windows 7 all the input devices are accepted but uh, windows 8 come up with a uh, new software built in software for new type of input devices like touch screen multi core processing software solid state drives so alternate input methods were introduced in windows 8 serve as a common platform for mobile and computer so up to windows 7 we can use this windows 7 operating system only in laptops or computers but windows 8 is a only the first operating system used in both mobile as well as in computer after windows 8 windows 10 was introduced in 2015 start button was again added multiple desktop screens were introduced center notification of center for app and notification and quick actions are introduced cortana voice activated personal assistant it means voice recognizing commands are introduced in windows 10 so these are some of the famous windows versions and their features were explained next we are going to see the important device input device called mouse which plays a very important role in windows operating system so through mouse we can give five different uh, actions one point to an email item it means move the mouse pointer over any item it is also an action in windows second one is clicking click means point to the item on the screen press and release the left mouse button so here simply click refers to the left mouse button in the diagram you can see the left side of your arm is known as left button and the right side of your arm the button refers to right to the right mouse button when you really press and release the left side button then this action is called a click same thing if you do in the right in the right through right button then it is called a right click button so here you can see point to the item on the screen press and release the right mouse button clicking the right mouse button display a pop up menu with various option so click refers to left mouse button right click refers to right mouse button where we want to press and release the button so double click means repeating the action that is clicking option twice twice quickly so this is called the double click next option is drag and drop so drag and drop refers to action where we want to point an item and press the left mouse button and hold the button and after holding the button we can move the mouse pointer to any new place and the when when a desired location is up to, uh, occupied then we can release the left mouse button so this is called a drag and drop these are these, these are the five important actions which can give inputs through mouse input devices so next is the windows desktop so the opening screen of the windows is called desktop of course we know desktop desktop contains many items like you in the diagram you can see desktop contains start button notification area so here you can see this is the start button the notification area the simple bar is called task bar the icons appeared the images appeared on the desktop are called icons here you can see the feature that is cac uh, clock and calendar is called gadgets so these uh, features are introduced in windows 7 so 
here you can see the uh, different uh, component of windows operating systems desktop so next uh, we will see the windows desktop icons icons is a graphical symbol representing the window element like uh, files folders for each and every item in windows we use the icons so graphical images are used to represent many different elements like files folders shortcuts and application i yeah, application window so, uh, the, the icons play a vital role in gui based application software next is standard icons the icons which are available on desktop by default while installing windows os are called standard icon like uh, my computer recycle bin next internet explorer these are the standard icons uh, which when we, we which are available when we when you install a fresh windows operating system in your system so here you can see my computer documents and recycle bin are called standard icons the other icons are in installed created when we when you install new software in the windows operating system so here you can see a new feature which was introduced in windows 7 that is arrow peak button which we discuss in later version so first we see what are the different icons available in windows operating system so in my system you can see the icons so this my computer recycle bin are called the standard icons and documents icon here you can see the document icon so these icons are called standard icons other icons are created when you install the respective of softwares in your system so other than icon here you can see the arrow pick button arrow pick the button when you press this arrow pick button it simply display the desktop so this button is used to display the desktop it means when you open any software so here you can see yeah, power, power powerpoint software is open when you click the arrow pick button from desktop you can see the desktop show the desktop appears in your screen so this is the function of arrow pick button in your windows 7 desktop taskbar so arrow pick button is available in taskbar so this is called start button this is the clock and uh, uh, clock and uh, date version next it is the notification area so we will see one by one what are the different icons available in windows operating system so next uh, topic is windows desktop so windows desktop contain other icons called shortcut icons of course the icons which were supplied are uh, created after installing the respective software are called shortcut icons for opening the respective uh, softwares next is the disk drive icon so here a disk refers to the hard disk so hard disk uh, cd rom dvd rom pen drive all the drives are referred to as a disk drives when you open any uh, my computer uh, icon you can see the disk drives in your system here you can see hard disk so hard disk is a single device but it was partitioned with a number of uh, parts depending upon the user requirement this partition varies in my system you, you can see five partitions and this is called device and removal storage this is also your drive icon so for representing the disk partition hard disk partition and the cd rom element and pen drive element you can see these icons these icons are called drive icons which refers to secondary storage devices means permanent storage device the secondary storage device is also known as hard disk cd rom dvd rom pen drive which we already discussed in the first lesson so here you can see the icon so and when you when you see this icon you can see the overall partition space and how many space is occupied and how much of space is available for use you can see through the graphical appearance as well as in the number statement so this is the use of disk drive icons next is the different parts of the window so any window comes with a default parts like title bar which shows the title of the document or talk title of the software and next menu bar toolbar application work area scroll bar window control buttons so now i am going to open a window called uh, powerpoint which is already here open you can see the this is the taskbar here you can see in the my computer icon you can see the uppermost rectangular box is known as taskbar so the taskbar 
and consist of three buttons called close maximize and minimize and uh, restore button so these buttons are going to uh, the, uh, the function of this button are going to discuss in the upcoming topics now we can see the different parts here you can see the menu bar this is called menu bar when you press anything you can see the list of items are applied in the shape of menu that's why we called it menu bar and of course when you reduce the size of the window you can see the scroll bar as well as the other elements you have explained in the uh, diagram so now I am going to open the new application software uh, where we can see these uh, different parts here I am going to open the software called MS Word Microsoft Word which was explained in your diagram so when you open any diagram you can see uh, the different parts of a window so of course you can see the multitasking process is executed uh, in your system it means we are we open uh, powerpoint software as well as we also open the uh, my computer icon so here you can see more than one windows are overlapped in your system this is called multitasking it means more than one tasking are executed simultaneously here you can see this desktop uh, menu bar toolbar these are called toolbar scroll bars here you can see the only one scroll bar there are two scroll bars one is horizontal scroll bar to view the horizontal view another one is vertical scroll bar to view the vertical parts of the computer so the, these icons here you can see the scroll bar horizontal scroll bar and vertical scroll bar this scroll bar will hide and show depending upon the requirement so other than this uh, uh, parts we can you may you can see the next part called the borders so next we see what are the next two parts of window so here you can see the application window which was used here with the different icons are used so different uh, windows are appeared on your screen so by using the uh, control buttons of window here you can see the control button so when you press this button this button is called minimize when you press this button then the window size is converted into minimum size and placed on the taskbar so this is called taskbar it so here you can see the window icon so here you can see the powerpoint icon there are two application windows was open simultaneously and they are control converted into minimum size and placed on the taskbar by pressing the minimize button if you want to open then you simply click that icon then you can see the window uh, window of particular software so if you want to open the powerpoint icon you can click on the powerpoint window you can see that window on the screen so in the same way the other tools like uh, the center button which uh, which execute two action one is maximize another one is restore now this button is going to execute the maximize size so when you click this button the window size is converted into maximum size maximum size means maximum size refers to the screen size of the window if you are using in desktop if you are using in the laptop if you are using in the projector then depending upon the device the maximum size is determined so maximum button convert the window into maximum size so next when you when you see the same button you can see the difference between icon so here you can see there is only one re one rectangular box when you click that button then this icon is converted into two rectangular box now this is going to execute the second action called a restore button it means when you click the button then the window is converted into its original size so this is the original size it can be converted this original size can be converted by using the window borders but one thing you understand the middle button of the title bar will execute two things one maximize will convert the window size into maximum size another one is restore will convert the uh, window to its original size so if you want to define the original size redefine the original size then simply press on the window border here you can see the window border so this is called window border this window border uh, when you place the mouse pointer you can see the mouse pointer is converted into double head mouse pointer so normally when you see the mouse pointer you can see the only one arrow is appeared but when you move the mouse pointer to on the window border then it convert into double head pointer by using the drag and drop action of mouse you can 
resize the original size of window so now this is the original size of this window so when you maximize then the size is converted into maximum size when you restore then it will convert it into original size so this is the original size which was defined by windows border so we can use any side of window border for rechanging the re redefining the window border size so we can use uh, any side that means top bottom left right borders for defining the window size so next one is the close button when you click the close button then the window is kind of close then it uh, disappears from the screen so next uh, important application software next uh, topic is uh, the document window so of course we already know what are the different parts of document window so the next important uh, which uh, in part of the document window is a ruler so again i'm going to open the microsoft word software so you can see how i open the microsoft word so in the same manner you can open your this uh, software other softwares also so here you can see the scale like structure this is called ruler you can see there are two types two two rulers are here one is a uh, horizontal ruler another one is vertical ruler so these rulers determine or shows us that is users the margin of the document so in the ruler you can see two colors are used one is gray another one is white color so gray color refers to margin size white color refers to document size or application area where we can create where we can enter our data so white color refers to application area gray color refers to margin area so horizontal ruler display the left and right margin vertical ruler represent the top and the bottom margin so by using the scroll bar you can move the more screen to the bottom here 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 you are here, here also you can see the gray color area it refers to bottom margin so each and every page consists of four margins one is top bottom left right which was represented in gray color in the ruler so this is the important part of the uh, window next one is the title bar of course we know what is the title bar in title bar we can see the name of the document as well as the software name which consists of three buttons minimize maximize or restore another one is close button we also know what is the function of these buttons now we are going to see the next uh, button call next item called menu bar it is also explained in, in the previous uh, uh, previous uh, topic but now we are going to see the same thing here you can see when you press the menu you can see many items are listed and each and every items are uh, uh, each and every items are uh, item names uh, each and every items names there was uh, some letters are underlined which called uh, the shortcuts for menu items here in the screen you can see the shortcut icons for uh, menu items here when you open my computer icon you can see the shortcut icon names here see menu bar so this is called menu bar when you click the menu then the menu bar menu menu bar items are up displayed and in some uh, menu in each of lm each and every uh, items with uh, with underlined letters are displayed um, for this is called a shortcut icons you can open the menu by using the shortcut icon by pressing the alt keys so which we are going to execute in the upcoming topics now we are going to see the next topic called the workspace of course we know application area is the workspace already we discussed the corners and borders of the uh, window now we are going to discuss the next topic called start menu start menu is the left corner of the window here you can see the left corner of the window when you press the start menu all the application software installed in your system are displayed in the menu so of course when you press the start button you can see all the application softwares installed in your system so these arrows represent that some other elements are inside so this is called sub menu of that particular menu so if you point the mouse pointer if you move the mouse pointer and you see any right arrow if you see any right arrow then it means there is some uh, sub elements are here so here you can see whenever you click the folder icon you can see the icons inside the uh, 
uh, for that particular folder so next topic is taskbar of course we know this is the taskbar where in the contains the from left to right the start button shortcut icons various programs and this is the area where we can see the minimized programs icon on the extreme right corner you can see the system tray so this is called system tray and you can see the volume control area and by using that we can adjust the volume of the window here you can see the network area date and time and quick launch toolbar which is used to launch the a uh, special application software in the freq uh, which was you frequently used by the user so these are the different uh, components of taskbar next uh, thing is starting and closing application software of course we can we are we know how to start and uh, open application software which was already demonstrated to open a windows uh, uh, microsoft office now we are going to see the shortcut method for opening a Uh, inbuilt software called Notepad. So Notepad, Notepad are inbuilt application software of Windows Seven. So if you want to open Windows Seven application software like uh, Notepad or Notepad, here you can see the accessories icon. Then you can see the all the inbuilt application softwares of Windows are available. Here you can see the calculator. And you can see the other uh, inbuilt software like. Uh, uh notepad so I simply click the start button go to the all programs select uh, all programs select accessories and go to the particular icon here you can see the different icons are displayed uh, these are called the uh, inbuilt softwares of windows 7 so for opening different application of software this is the simple method so go to start menu select accessories select the required application software and simply click it so the another method for opening the application software is using the run command for example if you want to open notepad then go to the start menu here you can see the run command the run window here you can type the inbuilt software name and press enter so see you can open the notepad window if you want to open the calculator simply press calc then you can see the calculator if you want to open the wordpad go to the run that is from start menu type the wordpad then press enter here you can see the wordpad is open so this is how we can open the uh, application software through start menu as well as through the run window so next uh, we can create application we can create files through application software and we can manage that files and save uh, files and uh, folders using different methods which was going to discuss here that is creating files and folders so the first thing creating folders we can create folders in windows 7 using two different methods number 1 method number 1 open computer icon open any drive where you want to create new folder click on file or new folder and a new folder is created with the default name new folder type in the new folder and press icon this is the five simple steps for creating new folder of course we know what is folder folder is the place where we can store files as well as folders so folders are bags for storing files and folders so now we are going to create a first folder uh, using this method so go to the computer icon select the required drives so you can select any drive where you want to create folder and right go to the file menu if file menu is not appeared you can go to the organize and select the layout select the menu bar you can see the tick bar is appeared here it means menu bar is menu bar is are displayed if you remove the menu it this option then you cannot see the menu bar so in windows 7 if you want to view the windows 7 menu bar then go to the organize area select the layout select menu bar then you can see file menu by edit menu view menu that is menu bar will appear on the, the window so go to the file select new select folder so this is the third step so here you can see a folder is created with the default name new folder if you want to create a new for if you want to change the name folder name simply backspace the 
you can remove the existing name and type the new name now i am going to type the new name called demo for 11th so after typing the new name press enter key so this is how we can create the window uh, folder in window next method for creating folder is going to discuss in this topic number 2 method for creating folder is in order to create folder step 1 in the desktop right click select new select folder folder appears with new folder icon type your name and press icon so the second method for creating folder in the desktop area you can select any area but in your example you, there was called a desktop so now i am going to open the new folder in the desktop so in the desktop area simply right click go to the new go to the folder you can see new folder is created so simply press backspace type the folder name remember one thing if you want to create a folder name if, when you are giving a folder name then be sure that no repeated names can be used in a particular place it means demo for 11th standard is also used in different location so here we can use the same name but when you try to open this new when you try to open a same folder uh, so same name folder then you can see an error and confirmation uh, message that this destination that is this place already contains a folder a folder named demo for 11 so this in here when you where you are trying to open a new folder with the name demo for for 11 is also contains a folder with the same name so here you have two options one do you do you do, do you still want to mess this folder or with this one so you can select any one of this folder name option if you press the yes then the new folder will merge with the folder it means all the folders will compile with this all the files will uh, merge with this folder it means the new folder will delete it, remove from the place so if you press no then you, you want to type the new folder name for creating so here now I am simply pressing no so it means it will ask again to type a folder name so now I am going to type demo for 11th C so this is the method for creating folder so this method can be used for uh, this method is also used inside the hard disk drives of uh, any hard uh, any storage devices like pen drive as well as in the hard disk now we are going to create a file using wordpad software of course here you can see wordpad software is a word processing software where we can create so simply open the wordpad software type the button press ctrl plus yes or go to file and click save button yes save as dialog box appears type the file name or select the location where you want to file save your file and select the file name so this is the five step number one open wordpad number two type content press ctrl plus yes for saving the content or use file arrow mark save then save as dialog box appears select the location where you want to save your file this here location refers to hard disk drives and type the file name and press ok so now i am going to open the wordpad so select go to the all programs go to the accessories of course we know how to open wordpad and click wordpad or simply type the wordpad in the run command and press enter so this is how we can open the wordpad so you can see the wordpad is open now i am going to open now type the content after typing the content so demo for creating file in wordpad now i am going to save the content by simply pressing ctrl plus yes so ctrl plus is the shortcut key for saving the document in windows or we can use file or a file document here you can to select the uh, location where you want to uh, save your file here you can see the uh, locations in my computer icon 
so here you can see the local disk drives you can select any local drives so i selected f local disk and here we created a folder demo for lavan so in this uh, in this folder i am going to save the file for the file name is lavan ta so i am going to click the save button now the file is saved in the title bar you can see lavan cs uh, sorry lavan ta file name and the application name is wordpad are displayed on the, the title bar so after creating the folder you can close that file so this is how we can create file in the windows next uh, method for creating second method for creating sorry finding files or folder after you uh, create a files and folders if you if you forgot where you store your file then you can search the file using this search box from start menu so you can use the search button search box on the start menu to quickly search a file or to find a folder you can use the method here you can see first click the start button select start box search box appearance on the at the bottom of the start start menu type the name of the file or folder which you want to search uh if you know the full name you can you can type the uh, part name of the file or folder after that uh, the file or folder will specify will appear on the screen there is another option called see more results which appears above the search box if you click it it will lead you to search dialog box where you can click open at so here you can see go to the start menu this is the uh, search box from which we can open different application softwares so here we type the file name so file name is 11ta so simply press the enter key you can see 11ta that means the, the the files which matches the file names which matches with the letters we type in the search box it was displayed in the and in the screen you can see 11 letters are highlighted with a yellow color so each and every files were displayed in the screen if you are not satisfied then you can go for search for text box or search for element where you can search many element uh, many files so here you can see the file which we created if you know the uh, extension for, for your file then you can use that extension also So whenever you type the content file name, you can see the result will vary uh, depending upon your condition. So here you can see depending upon your uh, uh, condition, uh, the, the input, all the uh, inputs will vary and the search result will display on the screen. From the demo for Lavan, here you can see the new folder or file was created here uh, in the F colon. 11th a file name is 11th a by using this method we can find the uh, required files or folders so next topic is searching files or folder using computer icon uh, here you can see uh, in the computer icon from the desktop go select the computer's disk drives screen will appear on the at the top right corner of the screen there is a search box which we already discussed that is in the desktop area in computer you can see the search box which was already executed demo here so if you want to type the content or find the file you can find the file here is here also so here you can see the file was displayed on the screen so this is the second method for finding the file and the next method is opening existing file or folder the most common way for opening or for file or folder is double clicking on the particular file next one is renaming files or folder so renaming means giving a new name to the existing file so there were there are two methods for renaming file one select the file or folder next is select file or mark rename type the new name and then and press enter so I am going to open the file here so select the file name file menu and go to the rename button you can see insertion point will display here we can remove the file name now I am going to type the file name as 12th a 
so this is how we can change the file name the simple method for renaming the file next method is select the file or folder you used to rename click the right mouse button uh, a pop-up menu will appear select rename type the new name and press enter so second method open the file or folder now i am going to change the folder name here so select the folder right click on the folder the same method is also applied for file also select the rename type the new name so type so new name is 12th year demo so so this is the two methods for renaming the files or folder next one is use the left mouse button select the file or folder to wish to rename press f2 so this is the third method for renaming file or folder name so press f2 f2 is the function key which was apply, uh, which was uh, available uh, on the keyboard at the top or topmost area of the keyboard so select the files or folder press f2 see you can see the blue color will display on the screen so I simply press backspace and type the new file name so this is the third method for renaming the files or folders so next one is moving or copying files or folders moving means from one place to another place we simply move our files or folders copying means we are creating a duplicate copy of files and folders so first we see how to move files or folders so first we want to select file or folder which you want to move select edit or mark cut or control plus x or right click on the cut so there is a three method for cutting number one edit arrow mark cut control plus x shortcut key or right click and select cut so you can use any one of the option after that when you move the new location where in the new location you can see uh, to paste the uh, cut copy, cut item select edit arrow mark paste use control plus v or right click and select yeah, right click and select paste option so this is how we can move the content so first i am going to open move this folder so i am going to use the shortcut method that is right click method so select the files or folder after right click on that particular selected folder select option cut go to the new location select the new location and then in the, lo in the new location right click on that new location select paste so this is the method for moving the content we can use other options also like control plus x control plus edit or mark cut for moving for pasting control plus v or edit or mark paste so remember the shortcuts icons so shortcut icon for cut is control plus x shortcut icon for paste is control plus v so this is the method for moving the uh, moving the files or folders the next method is dragging and dropping the content so here you can see if you want to move this folder demo folder to this area then simply select that folder drag and drop the folder to the new location so here i hold the left mouse button and move the mouse pointer where i want to move and when you release the mouse button you can see the content will drag and drop here it means it was created a new copy here if you want to move the content if you want to move the content so here you can see and the icon you can see the icon plus copy to location copy to means it will create a, a special copy uh, of uh, the existing folder so here you can see the method for moving uh, moving the folder and files so what you want to do select the left pan or a folder or display like a tree structure in the windows explorer window so here we are going to open the windows explorer window see so i am going to move this particular folder that is desk demo folder so here you can see this is the desktop icons available in windows explorer select that particular folder here you can see the demo folder is selected now the second step right click in the right pane of the desk drive window select the file or folder you want to move click and drag the location so here 
you can see the folder is moving to a particular location so you can see the icon name is changed into move to move to it means it will move to new location it will move to new location so i am going to move this location when you move the mouse pointer in the left pen you can see the icon name is converted into copy to it means it will create a copy so if you want to move then you should move the content within that area so that the desktop is moved into this folder mv SVP folder here you can see demo folder is moved to this particular location this is how we can move the folder or file to the new location next one is copying file and folder so this will create a copy of the existing files or folder and place the particular data files or folders in the new location so now I am going to copy the files or folders from F drive so here I am going to open the F drive where we already created different files and folders if you want to move all the files and folders then select the files and folders press ctrl plus C or use the edit arrow mark copy icon so so I copy the folder copy for 11th so I am going to create a copy on the desktop here I will paste the content by using the right arrow but left right button right click option here the content was copied so this is how we can copy the content of course most of the student know how to copy cut uh, paste your files and folders the next method is in the right pen select the file that you want to fold it is also executed in the previous session now we are going to see the copying files and the folders to removal disk if you connected any hard pen drive or any uh, flash drive or card reader then you can use this method that is first plug your USB pen drive or a card reader or any floppy disk select the file you want to copy select start on computer uh, go to the navigation area right click on the file then select the copy return to the removal disk and you can press the paste button where you can easily copy the files and folders to the removable disk so this is the method for copying files or folders to the removable disk so these are simple methods for uh, copying content to any other removable disk now we are going to see how to delete the content so files if you want to uh, delete the files or folders you have three options number one select the file press delete key or select file arrow mark delete option from the menu you can see all the file will remove and they are sent to recycle bin so recycle bin is the place where all the deleted folders for files are stored for reuse if you want to restore you can restore but first we go, we will see how to delete the content now we are now here I am going to delete the content so simply select the file right click on the area select the delete option sir so here you can see the measure are you sure you want to move this folder to recycle bin it means your file is not going to delete permanently it simply move this file from this current location to the recycle bin yes if you press the yes then the folder will move to the recycle bin recycle bin is the default icon standard icon available on the desktop here you can see the folder which was deleted by you uh, now if you want to delete another file it means if you want to delete this 12th year file then select the 12th year folder or file go to the uh, press delete key we can see same i dialog box appears if you press no then the action will terminate if you press yes then the will, this folder is also moved to the recycle bin here you can see two folders are deleted if you want to restore it means if you want to return all that files to the to original area then select the files or folder press restore this item for returning uh, the particular 
folder or file deleted folder or file to its original place if you want to restore all the items from the recycle bin then you can use restore all items then all the deleted items which was stored in recycle bin will return to its original place so this is the method for restoring the deleted files or folders next uh, uh, component next topic is creating shortcuts on the desktop so we can create our own shortcuts on the desktop for opening our folder or files or any other softwares so for example here you can see a new folder here you can see to all the C firewall party so if you want to create a shortcut for this folder then select the folder right click on that folder go to the send to icon select this icon uh, option desktop so in the desktop icon you can see create shortcut so a new shortcut icon which appeared on the screen it means this folder is not moved to the desktop it this uh, this action will create a shortcut icon for this folder on the desktop so if you want to open this 12th c firewall party from f colon then you need not open my computer uh, select f colon select my, my 12th c firewall party so you can simply select this icon so here you can see when you double click this icon you can open the folder from the desktop itself this is the shortcut that is user defined shortcut so these shortcuts are created by software when they are installed but this is the shortcut created by user for their own shortcut for their own files or folders the, all the folders and files are appear on the inside the for, uh, desk, uh, secondary drive if you want to create you can use this method so this is the end of the lesson i hope you understand all the basic things of course i know many students know the basic uh, things explained here but uh, this is our syllabus which we want to uh, which we want to discuss here that's why we completed this topic if you have any doubt you can ask me so from this lesson uh, the common chapters are completed from sixth lesson to a computer science and computer application very varies from sixth lesson so prepare the question answers for book back exercise if you have any doubt send the doubts you are ask your doubts to whatsapp thank you assalamu alaikum